The Greenville Police Department and other upstate agencies are, are taking steps to better train their officers. A week long training is going on and today law enforcement is learning how to properly respond to a call that involves someone with autism. Our Kelsey O'Donnell explains. A step away from the roads and into the classroom. What is your name? Where do you live? Greenville police and other local agencies are learning all about autism, the signs, the triggers and best communication practices. It's pretty common for it law enforcement to have an interaction with our folks and we want to make sure that it's a positive one. Stephanie Turner is the Autism Division Director for the South Carolina Department of Disabilities and Special Needs who's training law enforcement in the upstate this week. It's always important that they're aware of what autism is, what it could look like if somebody is having an episode where the environment's a little bit too overwhelming to them. Wednesday's lesson is a part of a week-long crisis intervention training where local agencies learn about mental health, traumatic brain injuries and and other calls that might arise in the community. I think it's important because autism as well as mental illness in general, we encounter a lot while we're here in Greenville. Officer Tabitha Vergils with Greenville Police has seen and experienced those calls firsthand, telling us they're more common than you may think. Every situation is fluid, um, but just approaching very slowly is something important because we tend to, you know, we approach something with the intent to fix it. We're told the calls are so common that the Department of Disabilities and Special Needs says nearly 20% of those who are diagnosed with autism encounter police before their 25th birthday. And then you can proceed from there. Throughout the rest of the week, officers will continue training, hearing from family members with personal ties to autism and putting their new skills to work in role play situations. I think it gives the family some peace of mind knowing that the officers do have that knowledge that most may not have any training in all with hopes to keep the community safe. Officers are also encouraging the use of Operation Safe Outcomes. It's an online site created by the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. On that site, you can go on and register a vulnerable loved one. That way, if they ever encounter law enforcement, they're able to tailor it in a way that will best fit them. In Greenville County, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. Of course, we have a lot more information on how you can register for Operation Safe Outcomes. It's all available on WSPA.com.